I've been reviewing smart business cards for years and I've come to realize that what works for solopreneurs is not the same as for enterprise users. From Wave, Popple, Link, and Mobilo, I'm comparing all the top digital business cards to see which one is best for large scale or enterprise teams, covering who has the best landing page, lead generation, and the best onboarding experience and mass team management. That way you can be sure that you're choosing the right card to hit your KPIs. Throughout the video, you'll see QR codes that link to the pages shown on screen. You'll also see links to competitors' pages to scope out the competition. Lastly, I'll include a pinned comment with links to each card and another comment for brands to correct anything that was said in this video. Now let's get started. Mobilo consists of a plastic card, wood card, metal card, tap, and keychain. The plastic card looks good with a glossy finish. Up close, I noticed some slight blurring of the image that wasn't present on other cards. Then the wood card has the most unique design with a non-branded QR code on the back. It becomes the only competitor to leave their branding off the card. The metal card looks incredible, printing edge to edge with a brushed metal finish. This one is great, but metal cards have a bad rep for being harder to tap. They also have a back of phone tap and a keychain. To add a new user, the admin will go to a separate portal where they can view and assign available licenses. This is separate from the Mobilo dashboard. You can also use Microsoft Azure Sync to sync your employee list in an easier way. Admins can choose which fields are default and which ones are locked for the entire company, which fields to override, which fields are hidden, and which ones are locked. These changes can also be managed per group or department. You can also change the default card mode and mass apply it to all members, changing lead generation form settings like whether to send SMS or what custom fields to add. And overall, this makes sure that when your employees get their card, everything is ready to go. When you tap on the card, it can direct to a personal landing page, a business card which downloads the contact card, a lead gen form that collects basic info, then leads to custom questions, or link directly to an external URL. The landing page is the biggest change of the year, now giving you more flexibility in the design that can take it from something like this to this, including a cover photo, profile photo, background color, and including custom links, titles, descriptions, and embedded videos or images. All settings on this page can be set org wide and locked to prevent changes, or specified by each department or team or allowed for individual users depending on the permissions that you set. It's definitely less complex than competitors' pages, but it's a good start, including the right admin permissions for a consistent rollout for your team. They also have an in-house team to help you build custom coded pages that perfectly fit your brand. You can view analytics of your account or your team from the dashboard, including taps, leads, actions, card mode usage, and link clicks. It's clear that Mobilo has the right frameworks in place to have a successful platform, including well thought out permissions and high quality cards but I found throughout my testing that the user interface is less streamlined than its competitors. For example, having a leads tab for yourself, but then having another one in a separate area for your team, or having a profile settings and then a separate space for a company and group profiles when they all could have just been the same tab. The lack of true integration with CRMs and relying on Zapier is also not quite in line with the competition. For all of this, I give Mobilo three out of five briefcase emojis. Next up, we've got Wave a company making a lot of buzz in the industry with G2 ratings including highest performer for US and Canada, best results, easiest admin, easiest to do business with, best support and easiest setup and fastest implementation. For products, they have the classic card, the custom card, metal card and wristband. The classic card has a matte finish that I really like. The custom card has a glossy finish. The metal card has raised print that looks really nice and unique in this vertical format and the band has NFC and a QR code built in. From the Wave dashboard, you can add individual users, invite users via email, or import via CSV. Users can immediately log in and leverage their QR code, add to Apple or Google Wallet, or a variety of other sharing options to get started without waiting on the card. From the user list, you can see who has completed the onboarding process and who has products linked to their account. Admins can manage individual user profile content through the dashboard, or assign the user to a team where a template can then be added. Rich content blocks can be added like video embeds, typeform integrations, or team lineups. And all content blocks can be locked to prevent future editing or unlocked and work as a starting point. When a lead is generated, they'll appear in the contacts tab of your dashboard. You can view them org wide or filter by team or individual. You can also export to an integration of your choice. You can keep track of all the actions and leads through the analytics tab, which can be filtered by date or user and then exported to a CSV. Overall, Wave does a competitive job with a sophisticated landing page that focuses on strong integrations rather than custom branding. It does a great job of onboarding an admin in a well-designed dashboard. I give Wave 
four out of five briefcase emojis. Popple has been one of the top smart business cards for years. Coming in second in terms of the number of products that they offer, we've got the Popple card, custom card, back of phone tap, or Popple watch band, keychain, phone tap, bracelet, and NFC stand for a total of eight products that are shown. The custom card design pops up a little bit for a nice texture, the thin font renders well, but I noticed that the print has a strange pattern to it which you can see in some light, something that doesn't occur on their logo or their QR code on the back. Also, the logo colors like the YouTube logo appear darker than the rendering or other cards in this video. To onboard new members, you can add by email, import via CSV, sync with Microsoft Azure, or sync with Eventbrite attendees. New members can be added to a template from a user list which automatically drops in content blocks or added to a sub team or department. This list also gives you bulk actions like turning on lead capture mode, customize the theme, or changing individual content. You can also get granular by tapping on a photo to see individual details and card previews. Users can choose assets from a library uploaded by the admin team for a more cohesive look. You can proceed to drop in links in an icon or featured format which also adds text. You can add embed videos and drop down text for an all around great looking page. Accessories can be easily reassigned on the profile or on a separate accessories tab for better management. Admins can manage and approve change requests from the dashboard, the only brand currently doing this by the way. Leads can be viewed from the leads tab where you can tag or set rules for auto tagging, see the owner and reassign the lead to someone else, and export to a CSV or to one of 5,000 integrations. You can get insights of your team and filter by user or team, and all of these results can be exported to a CSV. Popple is the best designed admin dashboard. It's intuitive and offers complex bulk actions, which is perfect for managing large scale teams. I give Popple five out of five briefcase emojis. Link offers a total of 11 products, including basic, custom, and metal branded cards, a link badge, Apple watch band, phone tap, two bracelet variations, the highest quality keychain, and an NFC stand, and a new addition, the hyper card. Where your typical NFC card gives you a standard notification of a link, Hyper is a new link card that uses app clips to create a more enhanced and beautiful experience than any others on the market. The card also has this cool texture to it and a new QR design which looks really premium. Really I think it's only a matter of time before the competitors start doing the exact same thing. The custom cards have sort of a textured finish and the print is raised for a nice feel to it, text rendered is very sharp and accurate, there's slight branding on the QR code on the back, but for more details on quality and NFC strength, watch the strongest NFC card comparison video. When onboarding a new member, you can use the onboarding tool, which generates a preview of each member being added, and this can be saved to return later. You can also import a CSV or integrate with the HR software of your choice to automatically add or remove employees as needed. Users can have different contact info than what's on display publicly on their profile, which is a nice touch, and you can also see at a glance their pages and their products. In pages, you can make bulk changes to multiple pages, or you can look at an individual one. You can add a lot of embedded content like bios, Calendly booking for a synced calendar, social buttons, embedded videos, type form, photo galleries, a Teams directory, and a lead gen form that you can customize. You can also change contact exchange settings to auto download a contact card or auto pop up for an exchange form for stronger lead generation. Templates can be created to easily add content blocks to pages in a uniform way and consistent exchange settings are included in that template as well. When you generate a lead, they're enhanced by link to add in additional contact information. You can add labels, set follow-up reminders, see notes and activity history for that contact. You can also implement message snippets for frequently used text, including variables like that contact name. Link is the only brand to include workflows, which are essentially built-in automation. So you can create actions based on custom definitions. For example, you could say, when I meet someone new, add a custom label to that contact. And analytics gives you page level data like views and contacts or team level data for overall performance. Link indicates that more in-depth analytics are also coming soon. Link offers great user management, the best quality cards and advanced embed options on their landing page. Overall, I give Link five out of five briefcase emojis. As promised, here's a summary that reviews everything mentioned in this video. Link, Wave, and Popple all have native CRM integration while Mobilo requires Zapier. Mobilo, Link, and Popple all include data enrichment options to source additional information automatically added to your leads. Link, Wave, and Popple all had team asset management options where users could choose assets from a library for a more cohesive look. Wave got second place with four out of five briefcase emojis achieving great quality cards, landing pages, and team management, but with slightly less features than Link and Popple. 
Mobilo got three out of five briefcase emojis. And the top overall card was a two-way tie from Link and Popple. Link had the best products and landing page, but I found the admin management slightly more complex and harder to manage. Popple had a slightly lower quality card, but had the best admin dashboard. Either option is your best choice for 2024. If you're looking for more digital business card content, there's a lot of other videos to watch, like the solo edition of this video on the channel now, the annual digital business card comparisons from previous years, a look at how I build my own digital business card, or a video where I test NFC strength and find the strongest digital business card. Thank you to everybody who took part in this video, thank you to the sponsors that made it happen, and thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.